So here at the restaurant we get all of our animals with the exception of the beef in whole and then we break them down right here on site and then we utilize every part. So today we're butchering a uh, half uh, side of uh, Gelderman Farms pork. So the first thing I want to do is just break it down so it's a little bit easier to work with. So firstly I'm just removing the jowl. This will cure similar to bacon that we'll hang and we'll use in sandwiches and pastas. We save all the fat, we render that down. We're going to remove the uh, tenderloin portion here of the pork and we'll use that on our dinner menu. The next thing I want to do is break this down into three pieces just so we have something a little bit easier to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, remove the front here. From the front we'll get uh, the shoulder that we will slow cook and use for pulled pork or we'll grind for sausage. We'll also get the picnic ham that we will cure and uh, smoke and use on sandwiches at lunch. Just cut through this bone like so. And then we've got the front taken care of. Now we will remove the back portion here. So again, we'll just cut with our knife as far as we can. Like so. We'll just break through this bone. And we have that broken down now. So what we'll start off with here is the middle section of the pig. So down here we have the loin, we have the belly, and we have the ribs. So the first thing I want to do is remove the ribs. I'm just going to run down my knife along the bones. The loin we'll use for uh, dinner. We'll make a uh, little uh, pork loin roast. It's also where you would get uh, the, uh, the back bacon you see on uh, like eggs benny and that sort of thing. The belly will cure and then smoke uh, for the bacon that we do in-house. And the ribs as well, we will smoke those, slow cook them, serve them with the barbecue sauce. And we usually have those up front in our seasonal to-go. Almost got this taken apart here. So, now you can see the belly is exposed and the loin here, so we're just going to remove the loin. And then often you'll see in recipes for sausages the fat back, that's this right in here. Uh, but we'll leave a layer of that on. Um, until we actually cut this for service so it stays uh, nice and moist. Then the belly here, we'll just quickly trim off some of this fat, which again we will render down and we'll use in the cooking and some of the bacon. And then I just want to cut it into a piece that's going to be a little bit more manageable. And then this will be cured and then uh, used for our bacon. And this can also be slow roasted and used for an appetizer. Then we have our rib section here. Now we could use our saw, but instead sometimes when you're having a bad day, you just take a clipper, break it apart. Then we have our ribs. These I will remove and can be cut up you go to a restaurant and you see the uh, dry ribs, that's what these are. Then this we will smoke, we'll slowly braise and uh, serve that with a barbecue sauce. And then of course all the bones we save for stock. Next thing we want to do is we have the front here. So again we have the shoulder and we have the uh, 
uh, the picnic hem that we're going to brine. So we're just going to quickly bone this out a little bit here. Same as before, we're just going to run our knife along the bones. Like so. Always making sure we have lots of band-aids nearby in case we slip and cut ourselves, which does happen from time to time. And once I have this removed, it's a simple process of taking the saw after this and splitting it in half. Again, save all this for stock. Now I just want to cut this down like so, and then we'll leave the bone the shoulder with the bone in and we'll slowly cook that overnight and then we'll pull the meat off it tomorrow for our pulled pork. So we're just going to slice down like so. And here we have our shoulder. Um, we can bone it out a little bit further, but like I say, once it's slow cooked on the bone, there's lots of flavor in there. So that's good to go. Then we have the picnic ham here. We can leave um, the hawk on here in the leg if we want. I tend to leave it on so once it's finished smoking, um, I've got this that I can use for, uh, for our slip pea soup. So this is all good to go. Then finally, back here we have a uh, back leg uh, that we're going to use for the uh, prosciutto. So I want to bone that out. And basically for the uh, prosciutto, we're going to take this leg, we're going to uh, cover it with salt for about two months. Then we're going to rinse the salt off. And then we're going to hang it in the fridge for at least six months up to a year and then it's uh, ready to go. And as we do this we can kind of see there's a socket in here we want to get our knife around. And then the other part top part here, this part here we will use and cut sirloin steaks and we will marinate those and uh, we usually have those up front in our seasonal to go. Uh, sometimes we'll do small uh, pork sirloin roasts with them and stuff those and have them in the seasonal to go. Perfect. So this now like I say, this is what we will use for our prosciutto. We put it in a deep bus bin, completely covered in salt for two months, then we hang it for another six. And this here we have our uh, sirloin that we will uh, make little roasts from, or steaks, and have them in the seasonal to go. And that's how we break down uh, half a pig here at the restaurant. <laughs>